Hello wine jumpers! Today we will talk about the second part of the tasting, the nose, and that we will discuss the aromas which are a big part of the pleasure of tasting. I usually do this in two steps. At the first sniff I hold the glass still in order to check the condition of the wine and be sure that the wine is not faulty, like in my case. In the second step, when I, before I take the second sniff, I swill the glass in order to release the aromas and oxygenate the wine. The intensity of the aromas is very important and we describe it in terms like light, medium or pronounced. Light intensity have the wines in which we have trouble to find any kind of flavor. So we insert the nose inside the glass and still oh, we have troubles to find any aromas. Pronounced wines, like in the case of my wine, it is a Riesling Spatler, so it's full of aromas, very pronounced. I don't even have to take the glass very close to the nose because I already feel the, uh, the aromas, okay? So it's quite intense as a wine. The complexity is also very important, so uh, it helps us to give the final uh, judgment about the quality of a wine. We classify the aromas in three categories, primary, secondary and tertiary. Primary are the aromas um, which come from the grape directly, which might be floral, fruity, grass. Secondary are the ones uh, connected with the process of uh, production, like uh, buttery, toast, uh, vanilla. And tertiary are the flavors which come from the aging process. Maybe you heard of tobacco, earth, mushroom, uh, forest floor, and many aromas like this. I understand it can be difficult in the beginning, but with a lot of practice and after so many tastings and if you build up your own library of aromas, in time you will be able to identify all of these aromas in your wines. Cheers wine jumpers, until next time, please uh, drink well and uh, follow us. Bye-bye.